Here it is. Dummy 13. Blow up to 800%. It is 110 tall, about the same height as a 5 year old child. I think it is most popular action model. This model ranks 5th in the number of downloads on printables. The reason why it is so popular may be that it can change into various shapes. And you can see a lot of stop motion animations about it on YouTube. If you use 180mm size, you need to print 20 plates. And if you ever printed that many parts before, you know, it's great. Heat up, level the bed, print, repeat, 20 times. But he, there's where the SB Max flex. We were able to cram everything into just 4 plates. That's a time saver. Unboxing the SV08 Max. It is really huge. I believe that when it is sent to your home, you will be shocked by its size. It will definitely require two people to carry it, and maybe even a forklift. So someone commented that if he bought the machine, his wife to drive him out of the house to place it. Putting it together takes about an hour and a half, give or take. If you have built SV08, the assembly process of SV08 Max is basically the same as SV08 and you may need less time. One of my favorite features on SV08 Max the auto filament fading. Just insert the filament, tap a button, and boom! It zips straight to the nozzle like it knows where it's going. Start printing. To bring Dummy 13 to life at full scale, I ended up burning through two rows of black filament and two rows of orange. Total print time? About two and a half days. Yeah, I know. It sounds like a long time, but trust me. Compared to slicing this model into 20 individual pallets and restarting the printer every few hours, it saves a lot of time. For many parts, I went in thinking, oh, it will snap right off. Spoiler alert, it did not. I had to go full dentist mode with a pair of players to every single support slowly and carefully. Start to remove the support. A few moments later. Still going, still stuck, still suffering. Another person helps it. 40 minutes later, the work of removing the support was finally completed. The support had to be cut slowly with players. The support was cut, and I feel that my hand was about to break. The installation I imagined is simple. Each part would just click into place, perfectly aligned like in the video. Hands, waist, head, all assembling like a mech suit in an anime intro. Reality, not quite. However, the gaps between the parts were not taken into consideration during printing, which made assembly difficult. During assembly, the parts could not be inserted and slip out of my hands. I feel my hand has broken, even it can't insert by hammer. Let's start the installation and see how much effort it takes to put it in. To make it easier for everyone to know which part of the doll we are installing, we will insert the installation animation in the upper left corner, but the installation order is not synchronized with animation. First, we connect the head to the neck joint, then put it into the head, install the neck armor. Because it was polished with the cutter, it was not polished very well. Assemble the chest armor and chest joint. The chest joint must be fully inserted and kept flush with the top.
Next up, the waist joint. You really have to put your entire body weight into it. This isn't assembly, it's crossfit. The installation of the hand joints is very similar to the installation of the leg joints. And it is easy to confuse the joints. For example, the arm is shorter and the leg is longer. Installing the part, I originally planned to knock it in with my hand, but for the safety of my hands, I still considered using a hammer. The best way is actually to use a heat gun, but I could not find it one. So I had to use a hammer, as I was very afraid that hammer would break this part. Fortunately, it rotates. Install upper arm armor and lower arm armor. It seems difficult to use it directly with hands, so I can hit it with a hammer. Connecting the upper and lower arm with the elbow joint. Surprisingly smooth. The hand just a light tap and click in it goes. No hammer needed, no drama. It even rotates perfectly. The first attempt to install the pump failed. The second attempt failed again. Well, I used all my strings to finally install it successfully. Its palm can also be flexibly rotated. The hands of the dummy were successfully installed, but I felt my hand was broken. To install the arm, you have to install it in horizontally. It won't fit vertically. It took a lot of effort to install the head. The first time I put it in, the head slipped out of my hands. I had to stand it up. Even standing it up, I couldn't insert the head parts. Finally, we considered using a hammer. One, two, three, four. Finally, its head was successfully inserted. Its neck was not damaged. Install the neck armor and upper arm armor. Align its buckles and install it. I wanted to show a perfect hit when installing the foot parts. I tried again and succeed. Installed the front foot. Perfect hit. Install the lower lamps of the door. You may see that it is installed directly, but it is actually hammered hard with a hammer to make it go in. I was going to install the joint between the upper and lower lamps by hand. But I gave them to reality and used a hammer. I couldn't hammer it in horizontally, so I had to stand it upright to hammer it in. The lower lamps couldn't be hammered in. Why? Why? The upper lamps could be hammered in, but the lower lamps couldn't. I changed the method and press it with my hands. When 
installing his leg parts into a waist. They are actually hammered in with a hammer. The body must be tilted 45 degrees to hammer it in. So you can see that the armor is also hammered in with a hammer when it is installed. Finally, I succeeded in assembling it. This is also the first life-size model I printed on SB08 Max. It is a little imperfect, and the internal joints are rough. This is because I muted with a scraper. It is also a little difficult to make it stand alone. But fortunately, I added a lot of fill infill at that time, so it will not break even if it falls to the ground it will not break even if i hit it with a hammer assembly was a bit of pain but it was worth it 